Hi everyone, Chantal here from Simply in Order Photo Organising. I hope you're having a good morning so far and today I would just like to share a story that happened to me this week. You know how I always go on about backing up your photos and your videos. If you also listen to uh, mine and Fiona's podcast, Do It Yourself Photo Organising, you will know that Backing up is our first golden rule. If you don't do anything else with your photos, doesn't matter as long as you back them up. That's the very least. Now, luckily, of course, I am doing what I preach. <laughs> and this week, the the using the 3 2, one backup method that I explained to you in my last Facebook Live, saved me from a whole lot of trouble because you know what happened would you believe that i let my photo hub that is on this external drive i was a bit clumsy and i let it drop so it fell on the floorboards and now it's completely dead i tell you i'm not joking this is actually this is really real it's you know coincidence whatever you want to say but you know a, a day or two after I talked about the three two one backup method this happens to me how can that happen to a photo organizer letting drop a hard drive not good I'm just glad it was actually my own hub and not a client's and so this thing is totally dead but because I'm using that three two one method and my off-site um, backup is in the cloud. I have actually two offsite backups, so I keep one in the cloud and I keep an external hard drive in a storage unit. But of course, I don't constantly back that one up that's stored in the back uh, in the storage unit. But because Backblaze is set up in a way that as soon as I turn on my computer and I'm online, it backs up anything that I do in the background so I don't even see that it does it but that means once the initial backup which can take a few days sometimes even weeks if you have a very slow internet connection but once the initial one is done it's really easy it's fast and everything is always backed up immediately so luckily I had that on and with a few clicks you know once i realized oh that drive is gone i logged into my backblaze account and said that i needed to restore that external drive and there are different ways to restore it but because it's so much data the easiest that backblaze actually saves it on a new external hard drive and that's already now on the way by mail to come home to me so of course I do have another backup also at home on another external drive but I don't plug that in every day so that wasn't the latest so I would have lost some of my work that I had done over the last week or so and just to give you an idea of what I would have lost did I not have the backup I would have lost a Mac photos library that holds about 35,000 photos and videos at the moment. I would have lost unprocessed photos, a few hundred that, you know, from over the last few weeks that I still need to process and delete lots of them, obviously, and then rename files and what have you. And also, it would have deleted or I would have lost the 4,000 scans of old family photos that again haven't been completely processed yet and are not in my photos library yet so that's a whole lot of photos i would have lost and so many 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 hours of work that i had invested in curating that photo collection so again i'm not joking i'm not making this up it really happened and um really i urge you to look after your photos 
again if you do nothing else but backing up that's enough for for me and you know for you it should be important enough for you to do that and yes i am an affiliate of backblaze but again i'm not doing that for them i really like how it works um and there are other similar programs if you're interested but i highly recommend backblaze it's easy to set up it works um whether you want to restore a complete huge um amount of data that you've lost like what just happened to me or whether you only need to restore a file um and i have used it for that too before the example was that um i was working on a slideshow invested quite a lot of hours in that and then for some reason i was i overwrote that slideshow with a new one so because i did something wrong and then i realized it and i said oh my god i've just lost all that previous slideshow um and then i remembered oh no i've got back place so i went into the cloud and restored that one file and i had it all back within two minutes so i really highly recommend it i will put a link in the comments and i would also love for you to share with um with me and our other listeners and readers how you do backup do you back up at all and how do you do that have you implemented the three two one method have you had to go back to to your backup have you lost data photos you know not it can be other data too it doesn't just have to be photos um so let us know share that with us and thanks for being here see you but see you next time sorry <laughs> bye